32 I suppose passage based very tough passage you got to have science background in spite of that you may not answer all the questions but you answered oh wonderful what is it have you answered the questions based on the passage how many of you have answered raise your hands okay that is surprising let us see what is this passage about please answer which subject does it belong to huh physics or some other subject physics i thought you wouldn't read we'll see what questions can be answered or those who have read uh, have you checked the key the key tallies or does not tally tallies okay this you have to read 122 you have to read no this is in bold error location am i right whether you read the passage or not this can be answered i said you can answer four questions one based on grammar this one and three based on vocabulary of those three two based on vocabulary directly and one based on the blanks this uh, whatever words you see in bold you have to spot the error shall i read the sentence while introducing his guest dr green related how in the early 1980s he was working at ibm when he was in white underline he was in white at the outset do you think it is right or wrong wrong why is it wrong the sentence or that part should be in active voice or passive voice someone invited me active voice or passive voice how do i change it to passive voice i was invited by someone someone invited him he was invited so past tense passive voice any sentence in passive voice the main verb should be in past participle form what is the verb here invite it is a regular verb invite invited invited easy or difficult one mark assured this i don't think you can here which of the following words should fill the blank where is the blank is it in the first paragraph or second paragraph third a lengthy passage i really wonder how you could read ha huh. at the beginning of the passage paragraph though he had the respect almost or underline the word or or also means a respect and there is one combination we say or struck write the word or struck have you heard of that sometimes we use i was or struck means uh, impressed i'll write the word here or struck means what impressed i was or struck by her performance means i was impressed by her performance an important word almost all of his colleagues for his scientific abilities and insights underline the word insights we have got many a time insight means what deep understanding deep understanding we use a word insight he also possessed a rare among scientists underline he also possessed put the words a rare in brackets i possess a car i possess a bike i possess someone or something here the word after possess should be which part of speech noun usually now based on that knowledge let us go to the options lengthy passage what is the first one 
I will give the combination. You tell the part of speech. Talented student. Adjective. Intelligent boy. Capable person. Capable employee. Adjective. Competent employee. Ability. I have the ability to do something. No. So what is the answer? Fourth option is the answer. An easy one, I suppose. 125 rather difficult i hope others are not those who have read the passage not disappointed 127 no 128 abstruse imagine you don't know the meaning of this word but i don't think you get a chance like this in the exam if at all you get you got to be a little uh, you have to use your presence of mind here if you look at uh, underline the word esoteric Underline perplexing, underline enigmatic, abstract, keep it aside. But if you take uh, enigmatic, what does it mean? Write the word mysterious. Enigmatic smile, if you take uh, the painting Mona Lisa, why has it become popular? Because of the enigmatic smile, mysterious smile. Perplex, we have got many a time. What is the meaning of the word perplex? First you write the word. Very good, I appreciate that. Confuse. Better word, bewildered. Perplexed, confused, bewildered. They all mean the same. All negative words I am touching. Esoteric. That also means the same. Difficult to understand. Write the meaning. Difficult to understand. And also another meaning understood by only a few people. Abstract. A regular classes I keep telling. I give two words. What are the two words? Concrete and abstract. Concrete means something you can see or touch. Abstract, you cannot see, you cannot touch. What are the other two words you have to recollect? Tangible, intangible, wonderful. Here, abstract, uh, easy or difficult to understand. Between sciences and humanities, sciences are difficult. If you take a subject like physics, easy or difficult? Very difficult, the toughest subject. On the other hand, you take history, geography easy history based on concepts and uh, in a way you can relate but you take sociology philosophy completely abstract concepts very difficult to understand so this is also in a way on the negative side what is the fourth option here lucid lucid goes with explanation a lucid means clear clear exact word how many words are negative? How many words are positive? Abstruse there talks about a negative context understood by only a few or complex, uh, confusing. Here they want the opposite. Only one word stands out. Which one is that? A lucid is the answer. This is also easy to answer. It all depends on to what extent you are good at uh, vocabulary. This have you answered? When were the two forces in the universe, strong force and the weak force, discovered? A question like this, you have to go to the passage, navigate and see where you come across. So what is the answer? Is it 20th century? That's what I also thought, quick glance. That means you can answer this question. So far, how many questions? Three or four, including this. Four questions. Let us go to the next one similar and the context talks about physics a scholar his contribution to the subject and his work when we go to the field of science someone contributes at a high and his work we use a typical combination seminal work means what influential work it makes an impact you can also write the meaning influential simple expression Impact making. 
Seminal work means it has a far-reaching consequences and it makes a tremendous positive impact, impact making, influential. They want the same or opposite? Same. What are the options here? Conspicuous, noticeable, obvious. Opposite, inconspicuous. You need a positive word or a negative word? Obviously positive word. It is something extraordinary and inconspicuous cannot be considered. Trivial, silly. Trivial means what? Silly. That is also not on the positive scale. Inconspicuous, strike off, trivial. I'm sure you all know the meaning of the word trivial. Trivial fight means what? Silly fight. Obscure means vague. Obscure. But obscure has two different meanings. First meaning, general meaning, obscure. If you take the dictionary also, you come across vague. Vague means what? Ambiguous, not clear. But another meaning, not known. Not known to many people. Today the number has come down drastically. I think exam is day after tomorrow. Good. So the second one, you have to know the combinations. Imagine there is a talented writer, but not a lot of people don't know about him. Then what do you say? Obscure writer, obscure painter. Imagine there is a hill station, a beautiful hill station, not popular. Then what do you say? Obscure hill station. That meaning many of you may not know. And what is the next word here? Subordinate also a negative word. And what is the fifth option? Influential. This actually based on the context you should be able to make out. Irrespective of the fact. Whether you know the meaning or not. So how many questions possible to answer? Five questions. Five questions? 120? Five. Which one? 126. What is it about? May I know? Oh. In the passage, three words highlighted in bold. <laughs> Difficult to make out. Uh, what are the three words? Where, where are those uh, three words? Starting or end? Ah, here, I see C. I think e, e is also there. C, D, E. Over the next decades, physicists account to find. Is it grammatically correct? Physicists struggle to find. That seems uh, perfect. Here, you have to start with which one? D. And struggle to find a theory that would account for all the forces or what Einstein called. So what is a D? After that what? C, E. Which option is that? Second option. Very good. Thank you. That means how many question marks can you get? See what happens here, because exam is past approaching, I would like to reiterate. When you come across a passage like this, I am really surprised uh, so many students have read the passage. Not expected. Huh? Only the questions. Ah, that's very smart. I appreciate that. Wonderful. You have to, don't try to read the passage. The moment, that's why I tell students, a lot of educators say, go to the questions directly. I don't say that. I say, uh, skim the passage. Skim means what? Have a look. Why should you have a look? To get an idea what it is about. The moment I read the first sentence, I knew it. Beyond that, I did not read. I thought uh, this is not going to happen. 30 minutes impossible. And I could make out quick glance. It is about uh, science, physics, some work under pressure within the stipulated time period. Impossible. Then you should not get disturbed. But you have to go to the questions and quickly assess how many questions can be answered, how many questions cannot be answered. You should know, tell yourself, I can answer five to six questions. 
and one or two questions perhaps you have to navigate go there like the last one i did not see actually on the spot i had to you can you have to spend a, a few seconds other questions easy to answer but if you have done it means wonderful and uh, six marks not uh, makes all the difference shall i go to the next set of questions surprisingly I, before i go to the questions i would like to ask a question from my side how many of you have answered these questions i think uh, error location six questions am i right how many of you felt comfortable based on the context comfortable not comfortable not comfortable what is the reason all the sentences go with unfamiliar context the names you don't know some refer to individuals some refer to places some refer to streets they're not easy to first one especially please underline the sirakos house c a u s e i suppose on clinton square underline clinton square underline the preposition on was described nothing wrong with uh, was described past tense passive voice by charles dickens as a worst in underline in olden days we would use the word in now we use the word hotel and western countries they use another word i don't know how many of you know uh, please write the word motel motel means a circular shaped hotel on the highway a circular shaped why i will tell you circular shaped hotel on the highway not within the city limits outskirts on the highway why is it circular in shape motel it is like a drive in imagine the road leads and the rooms the doors of the rooms like this so you can drive in you want to occupy this room you stop here you want to occupy the next one you drive and stop there have you got an idea that is called a motel circular in shape on the highway in old uh, olden days uh, he what did charles dickens uh, how did he describe the worst in that ever was seen that was ever seen regular pattern you all know that ever was seen is also right there is nothing wrong with that part i would like to know how many of you have chosen the fifth option no error raise your hands that is the answer key also says nothing wrong with the key i will explain why i said underline clinton square you don't know what exactly clinton square this context goes with new york city which city New York City has two names what are the two names the city has it is a city of skyscrapers very tall buildings city of skyscrapers new york city the other name for new york city you have to know this big apple new york city is known as a city of skyscrapers and also as big apple there is another name new york of the east Uh, which city is called new york of the east bombay mumbai is called new york of the east in our country if you go to mumbai or bombay i prefer bombay but they've changed mumbai uh, if you go to a particular point called nariman point and also navi mumbai full of skyscrapers so it is called new york of the east imagine you don't know the clinton square what is this place i said clinton square i will try to i will uh, make you understand you all know rtc crossroads say yes or no that's enough imagine there is a hotel over there will you say the hotel is in the rtc crossroads or on the rtc crossroads road in the rtc crossroads you cannot say roads it's a road will you say in the road or on the road i'll change my question will you say in the road or on the road so that is a crossroad that place is what
Clinton Square is basically intersection. Crossroads means what? Two roads intersect with each other. You all know the word intersection. So that based on that here on where is this in the Syracuse house on Clinton Square, on RTC crossroads, on Ashok Nagar crossroads. Have you got it now? Based on that, you must have chosen A. How many of you have chosen A? In fact, I had to spend some time on this. My reaction also at the outset, uh, somewhere something looks wrong. What I got disturbed with a preposition on. Then I had to refer, I had to spend three minutes on this. Based on that, I am telling you guys, nothing wrong, the key is right. Shall I go to the next one? After that, easy to answer, but the context, unfamiliar context. Paul Cosport and his colleagues, anything wrong with this? Found that lung cancer was more common in non-smokers than was, generally we say, the moment you see that word, you have to think of, than was generally thought. What is the right word here? Dan was generally thought. Underline the word thought. Which part of speech is it known? And here what is the verb? More common in non-smokers than was generally thought. How many of you have thought of that word generally? Uh, raise your hands. That means uh, did you choose the fourth option as your answer? Somewhere you felt that is not right. That's enough. Fortunately, in the exam, you don't have to write the correct word. As simple as that. But here you have to know. So what is the correct word here? Generally thought. 133. I don't know how to pronounce that. I could not check also. Not worth checking. Let's say doubt. The heir apparent. Underline the word. An important word. Exam point of view. Here the letter H is silent. What is the meaning of that? Imagine your grandfather, a rich man. At the time of his death, he has written a will. According to the will, all his property you can get. Then what are you called? What is the word? This is the word. Meaning, a person who can inherit someone's property legally. A person who can inherit someone's property legally. Your grandfather's property, legally you can get. You are the heir apparent. That's a standard expression. Why is this important? H is silent. Then we should use uh, A or AN. They have been asking, please, uh, huh? AN heir, not A. Uh. Another important word nowadays are asking. Uh, because it goes with uh, common errors. A lot of people say honest. It is not honest, honest, H is silent. Then a honest person or an honest person. And so here an and here you can change it to person. I hope you guys got it. Let us see the error. Someone uh, of the last Fatimid Caliph spent almost, what do you understand from the context? The sentence talks about a thing or a person. Person. Person, do you use a pronoun, its or his? Imagine a man, obviously looks like a man. So where is the error? Third part, there is an error. It is not its, it should be his. His entire life imprisoned. Easy one, this is easy. But for the context, at various secondary, this is the easiest I suppose. At various places or place, at various, underline the word various, various talks about singular or plural, at various schools and colleges, at various colleges and universities or university. So where is the error? Easy one, because it refers to the plural form. Have you got this right? Easy or difficult? Easy. Noun, noun should be in the plural form. This also, we don't know all these names and uh, context, though a short sentence, a bit difficult to understand under pressure. Ken Russell went on international yo-yo tours before turned to politics. How many of you have chosen the fourth part? There's an error in the fourth part. What is wrong with the fourth part? 
turn not correct what is the right word before turning to turning to have you thought of the word turning very good i appreciate that here what does it mean before turning to politics means before entering politics before joining politics or a particular party this is also an easy one 136 elinas all english names elinas training as a choral conductor this goes with western culture it goes with all of you write the word opera have you heard of this no not surprising it goes with part of western culture if you take uh, it's like a concert on stage mu- musicians uh, they organize a program that and a lot of people sing high pitch high volume that is known as opera and uh, these two words go with not the regular bus conductor conductor here a different meaning altogether and one indian international film have you heard of zubin mehta an internationally renowned uh, conductor in this context once he was in the limelight very popular i don't know whether he is still alive or not but here what is the clue for you answer my question in this sentence there is one clue to spot the error underline the word helped help is a causative verb there are two important causative verbs what are those two one is help the other one is make and there is an important rule what is that rule they don't take the preposition to in active voice they take in passive voice the master made us wait we were made to wait by the master passive voice you can use active voice you cannot so where is the error help her analyze or helped her to analyze helped her analyze the score two should not be there redundancy it goes with causative verbs these i don't know again not our context western context not easy to make out but what is the sentence about generally we use a stairs plural form means what steps very good i appreciate that next second you answered the stair rarely we use singular i don't know the context all these have been taken from an international magazine which i usually refer i think they are listening to what i say uh, that's what i felt because i know from where they have been taking the stair is made a light filigree of steel rod and plates that contrast with the heavy concrete solidity of the vault neither positive nor negative neutral but perhaps a sentence about the stair the writer wants to tell something positive otherwise you would have come across a negative word now what is the past word here the stair is appealing but you cannot use the word made after appealing the word made is not there then it is right so you cannot consider the stair is elegantly made how is it made elegantly made adverb hold this one can you use the word is poorly made would have been correct not poorer made subsequently it doesn't talk about a sequence so you cannot consider slightly made no point in writing a sentence slightly made and does not convey anything a bit difficult but what is the answer hmm. second option is the answer how many of you have got the second option good let us go to the next one getting the james webb space telescope into orbit consumed far less fuel than was expected than was thought than was something related to the context what is the first one prospective does not go with this you are all prospective bankers what does it mean likely to become bankers prospective banker means a person who is likely to become a banker imagine he is preparing for a bank exam or staff selection commission he is a prospective government officer means what likely to become it does not go with this context projective effectively grammatically not correct projected effectively would have been better was adapted a comma is there was projective does not make any sense 
was adapted hold that one grammatically right was planned correct was arranged now you have to what does the context talk about getting the james webb space telescope into orbit consumed underlined word consumed far less fuel than was arranged adapted planned less far less fuel than was planned the right word here is before you launch something you plan they must have thought of a particular plan but it consumed far less fuel than was planned effectively effectively doubling its expected operational life perfect Adap was adapted you cannot use consumed far less fuel than was adapted does not make any sense than was arranged again does not make any sense 139 russia ha huh, have you answered this question what is the question number 139 ha my first question have you answered this what is your answer which option second option hat soft to you people why when i read the sentence let us see how the sentence goes i am not sarcastic in a way i am appreciating but it's beyond my comprehension how you could get the second option though it is a right one but not the exact word russia launched an iranian satellite into orbit any problem here no just 3 weeks after putin and iran supreme leader vowed to cooperate against the west first of all russia is with the west or against the west tell me obviously in the past it was a bipolar world the ussr and the usa after the disintegration of the ussr it became the present world is unipolar world uni means what one there's only one superpower which one is that the us the us is also called please write this one they may you may get in a, in a passage the big brother have you heard of this who is a big brother the usa have you heard of this or ha uh, please write it is not my connotation it's an idiomatic expression like new york big apple who is a big brother the usa usa has two names one is a big brother also right uh, this have we have come across in bank exams many a time uncle sam uncle sam refers to the us please write the expression uncle sam you haven't heard of these expressions have you no no problem so the us on the one hand russia on west on the other hand vow to cooperate against the west what does it mean shall i tell the actual sentence then you understand all of you underline the word vowed means what write the word pledged i am giving the actual sentence listen very carefully write very carefully putin and iran supreme leader they mentioned the name of the person also pledged to cooperate with each other against the west this makes sense see can you see the difference they pledged to cooperate with each other do you see with each other in the question then how could you select the second option no it doesn't make uh, grammatically not correct contextually not elimination approach oh okay that's that helped you any hope actual sentence is what the two leaders one from russia the other from iran after launching an iranian satellite russia launched they pledged to cooperate with each other for what against the west that is perfect so still where is the answer what is the answer second option is the answer i don't know 
uh, you get disturbed when you see if you choose a second option also you should be disturbed let us take uh, counteract is not correct impede means what block we have got so many times i use so many words every time block impediment noun form hurdle hindrance bottleneck all these barrier cannot use obstruct same impede and cumber also same so what is answer here that is strange in fact when starting on a journey or changing their mode of life men capable of something capable of something are generally in a serious frame of mind capable of then you need uh, a noun if you have to use your grammar knowledge capable of something something is a noun underline the word reflection which part of speech do you think it is irrespective of the fact you don't know the whether you know or you don't know the meaning please write noun contemplate which part of speech is it verb contemplation is a noun form consider which part of speech it's a regular verb impressed verb imagine verb so how many nouns are here whether you know the meaning or not that is the answer but reflection means what think deeply please write uh, reflect generally we use a verb form not the noun form reflect upon something means what think seriously or carefully or deeply think seriously carefully or deeply reflect reflect on the upon the past or the present whatever the school has uh, there is a problem with the key over here the key says a fifth option i suppose please check 141 i request you guys to check which option does it say third option uh, maybe some other third option is right the school has underlined the word offered offered positive or negative a temporary facility that is something positive shelter which the club is still using after 5 years agreeable offered grammatically not correct and considerate offered grammatically not correct kindly how has the school offered kindly yearly no hugely no what is answer here an easy one one reading you should be able to and this is the easiest para jumble i suppose when you read a para jumble at the outset look at all the parts ask yourself what is this about or who is this about who is this about queen elizabeth 2 and uh, still take uh, elimination approach in 1947 elizabeth married but it has to start with uh, something else if you look at the parts there's a possibility uh, second one also a possibility she cannot be the first one because it's a pronoun at the time of her death cannot be the first one and what is the next one here she cannot be the first one she cannot be the first one so first one has to be either a or b what do you think b is the first one elizabeth ii was queen of the united kingdom and the other commonwealth realms see we have got this word many a time a realm means what sphere field area of activity an important word and uh, what is the second one here it talks about when she became the queen when did she become the queen shall i write here or i will write here b is the first one she became queen when her father king george 6 died on 6 february 1952 so what is the second one here c is the second one what is the third one a is the third one obviously it talks about her marriage personal life a is the next one and what is the next one she died on 8 september one you can consider but uh, she uh, after the personal life she uh, somewhere ruled where is it uh, at the time of her death ah uh, this is an important one at the time of her death that means you have to use uh, e first or d first please answer my e first obviously 
she died on 8th september 2022 at the age of 20 96 one possibility i am telling and at the time of her death she had ruled longer than any other king or queen in the history of the united kingdom and uh, what is that d she had also ruled obviously how many of you have got this one right what went wrong have you attempted this uh, what went wrong could you get b c a first one is about she became the queen second one when she became the queen third one who she married after that you may get confused between e and d let us change the position at the time of her death she ruled and after that obviously it should be d f yes or no and she died on 8th september generally we don't talk about her death then about her date of death we say she died based on this expression she died on 8th september at the time of her death what was she doing generally we say imagine the scientist a scientist died a famous a renowned scientist died yesterday at the time of his death he was an emeritus professor of so and so university have you got it based on that we have to consider here e first after that d once you get it you get all the six correct how many questions based on this uh, now let us go to trigger trigger i think uh, a few questions easy to answer but for one or two how many questions are here how many sentences are here four you have to decide whether they are right or wrong and uh, if uh, something is wrong what do, what does the instruction say choose option corresponding to the sentence in which the usage of the word is incorrect first let us find out how many correct how many incorrect the thieves must have deliberately triggered the alarm seems right or wrong trigger the alarm perfect deliberately usually they don't do that deliberately means what intentionally first one is right even a problem as simple as a bad back often has an underlying triggering factor triggering factor a perfect combination factor triggering factor that means it triggers some issue some problem nothing wrong two successive failures triggered their progress generally progress uh, something went wrong you take it as a challenge and you bounce back that is the usual thing failure every failure is a stepping stone to success have you heard of that but here the, it talks about how many failures two successive failures cannot trigger someone's progress that is not practical we don't say that two failures triggered their progress generally we say two failures have changed their direction two failures have taken uh, have uh, changed their attitude two failures have uh, done something but they don't trigger the success what is the last word here uh, progress failure does not trigger success failure triggers seriousness determination and effort that to two failures I, in my opinion third one is not correct and something obviously triggered her because she started screaming nothing wrong with this what is the answer third option is the answer but not that easy he what is the next one confront confront means come face to face with some sort of hostility or enmity a negative feeling he forced the country to confront the issue of deforestation right or wrong confront a problem confront an issue confront a person confront the enemy these are the combinations i thought i would stay calm but when i was confronted with or by you can use both the prepositions the tv camera i got very nervous initially i thought this is not right because usually gadgets we don't use that's what i thought but this sentence is right i had to cross check and the source is uh, cambridge university they can't be wrong okay nothing wrong with the second one usually usage point of view the combinations confront a problem confront an issue 
confront a person confront an enemy we don't use confront here camera camera is a gadget a rare combination but it is right i hope you understand what i say third one is what excuse me third one is it is an issue we will have to confront at some point no matter how unpleasant it is perfect nothing wrong with this the new law underlying law uh, was confronted with many profound difficulties this we don't say profound means deep it goes with write the combination knowledge also write the word understanding profound knowledge profound understanding typical combination we don't say profound difficulties based on that fourth one is not correct how many of you have chosen the fourth option please uh, let me know give me a second can you all give me a second an important call i have to take sorry about that shall we shall i continue you got the answer what is the answer fourth option based on law and profound difficulties passionate passionate means what a strong emotion towards something and it has a positive meaning passionate about cricket passionate about music passionate about learning yes sir hmm yes yeah. <laughs> here the child's mother made a passionate plea plea actually a legal term but it has another meaning plea means a request please write the second meaning a request and the verb form related plead i hope you know the word plead that also means the same passionate plea nothing wrong with that plea has two meanings one a legal term the other everyday english a request passionate request nothing wrong with the first one we were both very harmful and passionate towards now how many of you thought the second sentence is wrong raise your hands ah very good tell me on what basis no that is not the reason answer my question the sentence talks about how many people two people you use one another or each other that is a clue for you what is a clue for you you have learned already reciprocal pronouns two persons or two things each other more than to one another sentence talks about how many then can you use one another what is the right word and uh, this is possible some people are crazy crazy people today harmful tomorrow lovable <laughs> mood swings this is it happens you will realize later okay so where is the error i am i was joking okay rarely we come across people like uh, rare very rare answer is the second one let us go to that is see what happens here these are all new we call new pattern but i have been telling since 2017 how long you have to answer immediately otherwise an insult for the quant faculty 17 to 23 how many years ever since sbi 2017 changed the patterns that year many candidates cried in the exam hall i know those who cried one year report and many candidates got zero in english how many with that they became sbi probationary officers how when the notification was given they said sectional cut off now do you have sectional cut off when it comes to sbi no 
overall marks. So what happened? New pattern, candidates got a zero. Then they changed their stand. They said, we'll take the overall marks. Then some candidates got uh, very good marks in quant, reasoning, other papers. It, in spite of the fact they got zero in English, they got the job. And other candidates piled a case. It is still in the court. Everyone knows what happens. Shall I go to the next one? Uh, we have to see this one. At the outset, what is the meaning of wary? Please write. Wary means cautious. Don't get confused between this word and the other word. What is the other word? Wary means a tired, exhausted. That's a different word altogether. Here, be wary of someone or something means what? Be cautious, be careful. You got the meaning. I am a little wary of giving people my address when I don't know them very well. Perfect. You don't uh, trust the strangers. Teachers are often wary of standardized tests. That is also true. Standardized tests, pitfalls are there. So they have their own uh, limitations. The military is wary of the religious public infringing on its turf. This is also right. Cautious about the public encroachment. Rosalind was frustrated with herself. That made her weary. This does not make any sense whatsoever. Frustration does not lead to being cautious. Frustration leads to a negative reaction, negative action. So what is the answer? Fourth option is the answer. Awful. Awful means what? I think we got this word yesterday. Terrible. Please write the meaning. Awful means uh, terrible. Terrible means what? Very bad. The combinations. See here all these uh, new pattern CAT model common admission test. If you want to do your, do your MBA in IAMs, you all have to take which exam? Common admission test. All these are CAT models and here what are they trying to find out? Do you know what they are trying to find out? And CAT also they give simple words. Here awful simple word, terrible simple word. They take simple words. But in English every word has two or three meanings, one thing, and uh, three or four combinations. If you are good at the word forms and the word combinations and uh, primary meaning, secondary meaning, tertiary meaning, only then you can answer. Otherwise you cannot. Though it's a simple word. He suffered awful injuries, terrible injuries, perfect, very bad injuries, nothing wrong. There was an awful austerity on the premises. Premises means what? Wh what does it go with? College, campus, you all know that. Then you cannot use this one. On the premises, austerity measures, not the right one. There is one important word here. If you listen to the budget, at the time of the budget, the newspapers use this term. The government has resorted to austerity measures. Means what? Cutting down the expenses. Cutting down the expenses. No money, no funds. Then what do you do? You try to save money by cutting down your expenses. Then we use austerity. But it does not go with on the premises. That is a wrong combination. Fortunately, it won't make an awful lot of difference. Uh, native speakers use this. I don't know how many of you know. They tend to say it makes an awful lot of difference. Means a lot of difference. Nothing wrong with that. The weather was awful. A typical example. So what is the answer here? Second option is not correct. Uh, based on, on the premises. Do you understand? Uh, there was an awful austerity uh, when it comes to government expenditure. It goes with expenditure. Shall I go to the last? Uh, how many others are still there? How come? Hmm, what are these? What time is it? Uh, 24. That is correct? Okay. Have you answered these? How do you answer these? Contrast or addition, first you decide. Here, what is the word? If we cannot believe, underline we cannot believe. Based on that, unless we believe, that seems right. And we cannot believe, 
cannot be used because if we cannot believe is different, we cannot believe is different. While it is difficult to see, not correct. Answer is the first option. I will do it very fast. You cross check. And when I say it is correct, no second thoughts. A federal judge ordered the seizure of two private jets. They belong to someone. That seizure of two private jets, which belong to someone, were seized based on the judge's order. You can connect. Take this one. Owning the jets, not correct. Ordering the seizure, not correct. So what is the answer here? First option is the answer. And this talks about banning Russian TV, a particular country. Banning all Russia-based TV media outlets that threaten something will last until Russia, whatever it is. This is right. Russia-based TV media outlets that threaten were banned. You can use passive voice. This is also right. Threatening the territorial integrity and independence, not correct. So what is the answer here? One and two, which option is uh, that? No option. Russia-based TV media outlets that threaten, have I ticked the first one? Have I ticked the second one? What is the third one? Third one cannot be used. It should be one and two. Please make a note. One and two. And this one, uh, inquiry, human rights, and uh, issued a report. With Israel-Palestine crisis being issued a report, can you say that? Issuing a report accusing Israel of an independent inquiry which was established by someone issued a report accusing Israel of something. So what is the answer here? Third option. Do you have that option? Then consider the second one. Issuing a report of accusing Israel of something. But still I don't think that is right. What does the key say? Please check the key. Fourth option. Only three. Where is that? Oh, it is here. Fine. Then it's okay. Have I said the third option? I'm doing very fast because we are running out of time. Uh, last, uh, that is over. After that, what do you have? All are easy to answer. Feather in a cap means what? One more distinction. Have you answered this? Tomorrow you get a job. Then it's a feather in your cap. And uh, chicken hearted means a coward. Do you have that option here? Timid. Timid is the answer. And what is the next one? Hand in glove. To be in agreement. Which option is that? Second option. In extremely close relationship or agreement. What is the next one? Hit below the belt. To say something irrelevant and also unfair. They have not given the second part. Irrelevant and unfair. UNFAIR. What is the last one? Hole and corner policy means what? Secret policy. All these uh, questions, uh, if you have some awareness, you will be able to. Otherwise, not. Thank you.